Hi everyone, Becky's Feathered Nest. I had a request to show how I organize our small kitchen. I am going to say it's probably about the size of an apartment um, so that that kind of helps you get an idea of the size. And I've got all the cabinets open right now so that you can kind of get an overall view of that. Uh, this is our refrigerator, the pantry right here. I've got my aprons and everything here. Uh, my spice rack, so that kind of gives you a little idea of where I'll be going here with a closer up look. Typically, I will prepare meals here at the stove and then use it kind of as a little buffet type setup by keeping the warm foods warm on the stove and then maybe, let's just say we're having spaghetti, um, have the spaghetti on the stove, maybe some bread, uh, over here the salad and, and some fixings and things like that on the side So typically what we do is grab our plates, which is why I put them here because I can leave this door Open until ready to clean up. So we just leave it open grab our plates and Our silverware in this drawer right here, and then we start uh, loading up our plates here on down to the end and then we'll grab a drink here out of our refrigerator and typically we We'll then carry it, uh, this is just on a daily basis, but um, we'll carry it to wherever we're going. A lot of times it's just my husband, myself. We now have my uh, daughter living with us with her toddler son. So, um, you know, it works the same for, for them as well as it does for us. And then um, we carry it to wherever we're going, whether that's the table, it can be in front of the TV if we're gonna watch a movie or something. Um, but a lot of times when the weather is great, we sit outside on the back porch and eat out there because we do live on a lake and it's just nice and calming to sit out there and enjoy a meal. So um, we do a lot of little daily buffet style meals. And um, and then if I am going to fix a larger meal of Thanksgiving or a family group meal, then it's served at the table and we put the foods at the table or the buffet table behind me. Um, anyway. Let me show you here. Uh, this is where I keep the daily dishes. Now, when I organize other people's homes, I typically put the daily dishware close to the dishwasher so that it can be unloaded easily. But like I said, um, I wanted to be able to set it up in this way for serving our meals. And seriously, it's maybe three steps to put my dishes up. I'll kind of stack them up over on the counter and then carry the stacks over here to the um, cabinet. So what I do is I leave this open, and then when it's time to clean up after, at the end of the meal, I just shut the cabinet. So um, I keep our daily dishware here. And then you may have noticed, because I do get a lot of questions on my um, canisters, they are, I keep them on the counter because I also have a very small pantry. So uh, this helps save space, plus it's convenient for me to um, bake and make meals here with the dry goods. So um, I do get a lot of uh, questions on where I got them. The actual glass can canisters are from uh, Hobby Lobby. And then I just printed out these labels, which I uh, you can get them uh, from Avery or Amazon. And um, I get the wipeable kind of waterproof ones. Um, one uh, tip is to make sure that you totally let your uh, label dry, the ink on it. Um, as I was applying this one, I kind of, you know, rubbed it down here and it kind of smeared the ink. So um, I might replace it someday, but it really doesn't bother me that much. But um, anyway, that's just a little tip if you do uh, that project. And then um, down below that, I keep our silverware, anything to do with eating, these are the serving pieces that match the silverware, steak knives in the back, regular butter knives here, or cob um, holders here. Below that I have my Tupperware style dishes or containers. Um, these are just purchased from Walmart. I can't remember, I've had those forever and use them a lot for our camping trips. These are our popcorn bowls right here. And then our uh, thermal insulated type cups here and our stainless steel straws here. I'm trying to use a lot less paper products, so I'm kind of going that direction. Um, 
above our stove and microwave, I have our pot lids, um, some sea salt or some Himalayan salt, uh, pink salt, my uh, pestle and mortar here for grinding herbs. I do try to um, grow my own herbs in the summertime. And then we have our, or my, uh, extra pair of glasses and a marker. I keep my little um, lighter here for lighting my candle that I keep in the kitchen. My pot holders here. Okay, and then this is why I have the dishes on the other side. Originally, I had them here, but to leave the cabinets open, they get in the way of trying to serve our food. So I did switch it over there. Um, sometimes you have to live with things a little while, find out what works and what doesn't for your style of living and your setup in your kitchen. So I have my uh, mason jar glasses up here. And then these are our outdoor uh, dishes because like I said, we live on a lake, so we do uh, eat outside a lot. So sometimes I will set this stack over here if we're gonna be doing a, a big gathering of eating outside. I usually don't I, uh, use those for just my husband and myself, so um, usually for bigger groups. So this is all plastic ware. I can grab this little container with the silverware here. Our plastic glasses, our plastic uh, corn cob boats. Then coming down below that cabinet, I have this drawer set up for my most used items for while I'm cooking or baking. Um, I'm going to open this back up. So this was our silverware drawer, the stove, and then my drawer that I use uh, these utensils the most while cooking. Other than my uh, ice cream scoops and Jesus' birthday cake uh, candles and birthday candles are right there, but these items, um, I don't use that often and I keep them right here. Egg timer, um, toothpicks for testing and baking items. These are all kind of self-explanatory. And then on over here, I used to keep my linens in the laundry room because I didn't have a drawer in here. I made, ended up making a drawer, so um, I prefer my kitchen linens in the kitchen. Um, but I did make this drawer because uh, it is still close to my laundry room to be able to put them away. And then down below, I have this cabinet. And my husband installed these uh, slider drawers or trays, whatever they're called, um, here for me. And I believe they were purchased at uh, it's either Lowe's or Home Depot, something like that. So um, I did take my um, toaster and put it in here. It's got the cord, and I just plug it in right there. We don't do toast a lot. Uh, sometimes we do... Uh, a frozen waffle ego type thing or something so I keep my um, syrup here some cinnamon sugar mix here and the grinder cinnamon sugar mix there and then below that I have my stainless uh, type items I have my mixing bowls and stainless ramekins here sifter can opener emulsion mixer and then because these uh, drawers still had plenty of space and I have to use every inch I can, I went ahead and stuck all my rolling pins because I do have a lot of rolling pins. My parchment paper there. My, <clears throat> excuse me, paper doilies here. And then in the one over here is my frying type pans and my Ninja appliance right here. And below that, I have the other two Ninja appliances there and my pots. I get a lot of questions on what type of pots I have. I use David Burke pots purchased from HomeGoods. And then I have my muffin uh, paper uh, tins there, paper cups, and then my favorite muffin uh, pan there. And then I'll just swing, well, since I'm over here, <laughs> I've got my cookbooks up here in this rack, the book holder. This is just a mama's apron type poem because I keep all my aprons here. 
some heavy duty oven mitts there. And it's right next to my pantry right here. And I'm swinging around. This is my spice rack and oils and vinegars. And then I also hung all of my, um, what do you call these? Uh, cutting boards <laughs> right here. I have a thing about cutting boards, so I had to find a place to put them all. And I still have some space to fill up. Yay! <laughs> but I have uh, my oils and vinegars here. My husband just uh, put this up because um, I was afraid they were going to be falling off the shelf. So he put a piece of trim and it has a lip about that long. So I do still have to decide if I'm going to paint or stain that. And then I'm going to try to swing around here without showing too much of my Easter uh, decor. Um, right here is where I keep my soaps and um, that sort of stuff. Uh, different things go in that bowl. Right now it's onions. Uh, because this is where I do my prep area. So I keep this here at all times. And then this is all cutting type items here. And you can kind of see what they are. Yeah. And then below that I have my strainer. My, my uh, different strainers here. Whisks. Some measuring type cups. Um, these are my ceramic ones here. My mixer, hand mixer, pasta maker, some plastic pieces of, of funnels, things like that. And then down here is, now that I have my grandson staying with us, I had to make room for his type dishes, his little plastic dishes. Um, but other, before that, we had just paper goods and cups in here. And uh, so I kind of divided it, still have paper goods here, paper cups, and then his items here. I'm thinking I'll just leave it that way because then when my little grandkids visit, it's already there. Um, and then this is underneath my sink. Here's my sink. And on this side, I keep brushes. I keep my soaps, trash bags, some paper towels, a couple extra paper towels back there. I have my collapsible dish drainer right here with a drying pad hanging over that. My paper towels, dish pods. I keep these gloves here in case uh, I need them for either working with meats, um, sticking my hand down the garbage disposal, things like that. Um, not necessarily a cleaning glove, just something that I may not want my hands in. Um, I keep my stove top cleaner and pad in there. My magic erasers in here. My sponges here. My steel wool pads. These are accessories to the sink here. And that is about it. Oh, I do have one more uh, cabinet Oops. up here. I do have, um, oh, I've got several up here. Okay, so I have my uh, essential oils in here. Candle, just decoration there. I used to keep my towels hung here, but they kept getting in the way of the dishwasher, so I didn't hang them here. My dish towel, drying towel, hand drying towel, and then above here I have these cabinets. Mixing type bowls here, like casserole type, cake type uh, pans up here, and then mainly kind of pie related. Um, I have my different size pie plates, little, little mini pie plates, pie weights, pastry, pastry brushes, um, my pastry cutters, cookie cutters to make decorative crusts, and then my different size ramekins. Um, and then coming over here above the refrigerator, y'all know I hate stacking, but I have to do what I have to do in this house. So um, I do have just my favorite uh, cookie sheet cooling uh, racks for cookies and baked goods. And then I have my lesser used items way in the back. Same with up here, I have my most used uh, sheet type, muffin type pans here. My gravy mixer, the turkey knife cutter here. The turkey pan, don't know if you can see it, oh, there it is, way in the back. We use that maybe every other year because Every other year we have a reunion, and then the other year we uh, host it here or someone uh, 
in the family here, host, hosted. So um, anyway, that is my kitchen. My spice jars, I get a lot of questions on the rack. These are two racks that we put, my husband put together for me. Uh, we purchased them at Hobby Lobby. They fit the mason jar type um, jars, you know, inside each one. Okay, so I hope that helps for those of you who do have a small kitchen. Um, it's the first time I've ever had to work with a kitchen this size, other than when I first got married, but I had very little stuff, or when I was single and, you know, going to school and that sort of stuff. So, other than that, um, I didn't have a whole lot at that time, but I have since then gathered a lot. I had to purge a lot of stuff to get in in this kitchen, um, and I do not have any of my entertaining type pieces um, here in the house, so I will have to go through that at another time. Bye, my friends. Have a blessed day.